Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life and here everything is still under plastic and the guys have gone who put my beautiful new window in. I am so excited. So, so, so excited. Look about the light that's coming in. So uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It still has to be painted, of course, but um, somebody else will do that. But they basically, they put a frame around it to you know make the edges neat and you can kind of see there is a frame around the other windows already as well so they just you know it, it makes it all unified so and these are beautiful large windows i made them this large or this low just in case you know in the future we need to make half of this large room a bedroom and then you can put a, a chair there maybe for my dad i don't know or you know if my husband Ronald and I are old and can't climb the stairs anymore. No, hopefully we will be do that if be able to do that till a high age. But you just never know. So I thought instead of putting in a small window, let's keep an eye open for the future, all sorts of possibilities. Let's put in put in these large windows. And what I like about these, what I specifically went for, is that you can open one window fully but this you would think would stay but it will not stay so when i open this window the whole frame goes outside so there you go i have i do not have like the slat in the middle of the window it's a completely open window so this will be where my standing desk will be so yeah it will cover kind of the bottom part of the window but i know that and i yes i will have stuff below my desk but i'll probably put like a nice you know a vintage curtain um i'll probably stick it to the back side of my desk so that from the outside when you're looking in you won't see all the mess so let's go through the door. You could go through the window. It's not that high. But just for now, let's go through the door. And please disregard all the mess that's still here. I haven't tidied up yet. Um, I will hopefully this afternoon pick up the last eight chairs that have been reupholstered. So I will do a, a grand finale tour when my craft room is finally all done i think when all the chairs are in when this has been painted when everything is back in its place and hopefully sometime it will be tidy <laughs> i still have too much stuff for this very large room so this is the window from the outside and yes my grapes have been saved just look at how these grapes were planted by the previous owners as if they knew um, we were going to put in a window so the blue grapes and the the white grapes or green grapes, they have been saved and, you know, they can grow around the window. And I'll probably put some plants there or I can't pop the table like this table, which needs to be painted as well, was in front of this wall, but it's too high. So I can't put that back because then I won't be able to open my windows. So there you go. This goes down. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's closed. Ta-da! So it will be painted. Not sure yet what color. The, the white is very... So this, this is the base paint that's on it now. Because these are the other windows of the house. They are like a creamy, a too yellowy for me. But that was what the previous owners did. And the dark green, which are quite nice. And I'll show you that the um, garden house is garden shed is not up yet. The guy is sick today, unfortunately. So, and yes, this is my vegetable patch if you haven't seen it yet. So this is how far he got yesterday and hopefully he'll be back. I hope tomorrow to finish my, or this garden shed, which will be my garden garden shed. Because the other garden shed, over there houses some bikes and it's basically too small for bikes and garden stuff and that's a little room for my daughter because in the house she's got a tiny little bedroom and that is the workout shed for my husband so that 
won't fit any uh, bikes either. Hence, one of the bikes is over there for my daughter because it's too hard to get it in and out of the shed. So, <laughs> there you go. We really needed a fourth shed. Do you believe it? Anyway, so this is the entrance to the craft room. Ah, oh, so happy. So, so happy with this. Because, you know, when I was crafting here, I always had to put on the lights. And now that really isn't necessary anymore. I do need some blinds because the sun is shining straight into this window. So it can be blinding and very hot. So I'll need to get some blinds or make some. So that's the update. Thanks for uh, following this series about updates on my room and my gorgeous window. I'll have to get the other eight chairs now for this craft room and uh, tie this mess up you know take off all the plastic put everything back in its place the dust wasn't too bad but you see i have a lot of work to do still okay have a great day thanks for watching bye bye